What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I want to show you to make Escape by Dead Mouse and Cascade and also provide you the full Ableton session for a free download. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and also please go ahead and give this video a like if you do enjoy this type of content. So let me just go ahead and play you some parts of this remake so you can hear how it sounds. And let me show you where the chorus is now. And this ending part here. So basically, as you can hear, it's a lot of the same synths throughout the entire song. And basically, it starts out filtered, so all the synths are pretty filtered in the beginning here. So for example, this verse part. And then in the chorus part, it gets a lot more brighter, so a lot of the filters are opening up. So I'll show you how to automate the cutoffs of those synths to get that effect. Let's first go through the kick. Let's check out the kick sound. So this whole track, it's got a pretty cool vibe. I'm not sure what genre this is, maybe melodic techno or techno or some type of house. So I have the main kick here. And then I just have it layered with like a top kick. So you can do that, you can layer your kicks. You can have a low kick, a middle kick, and a high kick. Here I just wanted to add a bit more top end. And so I have this high kick, which is just a normal kick, but I filter off that low end there. And then I have these claps here. And so basically that is three different layers of claps and I bounce them onto one track just to keep my session organized. And let's go through the top loops. So here is the closed hat. And then we have the open hat. And then there's this metal shaker that comes in. And then I have another shaker here. And then I have this ride that comes in on top of the hats. So all together. So nothing too complicated with these top loops. And for this ride, I'm just using the 909 core kit, which comes with Ableton. And basically, because I'm going to be giving you this Ableton session, I used only Ableton plugins. So you should be able to access everything in this session. So the drums, it's just the kick, the claps, and those top loops. Let's go ahead and just check out the whole drum group. And of course, I just have a glue compressor on there just to glue everything together. Now let's check out the instruments. So I'm actually sidechaining the whole group to the kick. Here is my sidechain compressor, and I have my glue compressor here. So for this intro, I have the Ableton Grand Piano. It's okay for a piano sound, it's not great, but I'm just using it because I want you to be able to access it when you download this session. And so I have this piano grouped with this atmosphere. And I have the gain automating so it gets a bit louder as it goes into the verse. And I have both the piano and the atmosphere grouped together and I'm adding this washout effect on top of it. To help it lead nicely into the verse. And then of course on top of that I have a little impact there. So now let's check out some of these synths and I just use Serum for all of these synths. So this is going to be the bass pad. Here is the MIDI. And I had that side chained with a kick and that is going to be 
a saw wave and then a square wave and filtered and a couple of voices of unison to make it a bit wide. But then I have the utility plugin on here just to make sure my bass frequencies are in mono. And of course I am lifting up the cutoff here. So here it's filtered versus here. It's a lot brighter. And I'm basically just automating the filter cutoff here in Serum. Next we have the plucks. And here you've got the cutoff automation there. Here's the MIDI for the plucks. It's basically just the root note in a third. And then you have this little note. And I have that layered with a lower layer. Just to make it a bit more bassy. So the plucks in Serum, this is basically the settings. So I have a basic mini and then the filter is assigned to envelope two. And then the low plucks here, it's gonna be very similar, just using a saw wave and then layered with a sub. And envelope one is assigned to the filter. So next we have this synth that is a very dead mousey style of synth. And that is where it's gonna be the brightest versus the verse here, or actually it's not even in the verse. It's very quiet, it really comes in during the chorus. And I'm actually just automating the EQ8 for the filter here. And so basically to get that sound, I'm using two saw waves here. I have one with a couple of voices of unison and then another one with one voice of unison. And I'm using the MB saw and the basic MCB because they give a bit of variation to the saw wave. So it's not just like a strict saw wave just to give it more of an analog feel. And then I'm adding some distortion and compression on top of those. And I have this choir sample. It's pretty quiet in the mix, really just using it for an atmosphere. And I have it heavily sidechained with kick. And then I have that layered with this choir synth. That is going to be serum. And this is a little bit more complicated of a patch. But if you grab this whole session, then you can grab this patch. And so those two choir layers together. And so let's check out the lead here. In the part at the end here. And I'm just automating the cutoff. So I'm automating the macro one. So that's gonna be the macro wheel here. I have it assigned to the cutoff of the filter. So I'm just automating that up. And I'm using MB saw. And then I have this alpha one assigned to the fine tuning so that the pitch waves back and forth a tiny bit. And the envelope two is going to be side to the filter and the envelope one looks a bit like this. And these are just some of the effects. So distortion, compression, reverb, and EQ. And let me just go ahead and solo all these instruments together. And I'll play this part. And those are all the instruments. And then on top of all of that, I add this tape hiss in. So a lot of analog hardware will add in this white noise, this analog noise. So if you do want to give your track a bit more of an analog feel, then you could try doing something like this. And let me just go ahead and turn this up so you can hear it. And so I just have it in the track very quietly. It's barely audible, but it just adds a nice little extra layer to give it a bit of an analog feel. So that about does it for my remake of Escape by Dead Mouse and Cascade. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give a like and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And finally, if you do want to check out this whole session, I'll put a link down below for you to grab it for free. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.